Wow, it's been a while since we've done this, but welcome back to Let's Football Live, guys. Hope you are well and uh, staying safe. We've had a few uh, guests along the way uh, who've given Indian football a great name over the last couple of weeks. And uh, we're going to add to that list today. But before that, let me wish everybody uh, watching this, uh, uh, you know, very happy Rath Yatra, particularly those in Odisha, because Odisha is uh, the focus of our attention today. Uh, one of the most revered and one of, one of the most awaited festivals in India. Of course, different circumstances in the country right now. So happy Rath Yatra to everybody watching this. And uh, the reason why I mentioned this uh, nice up and early is because uh, our firm focus is on Odisha FC. Not just because they've got a new manager in uh, Stuart Baxter, but because they've got a youngster in there who had clocked the most number of minutes for any teenager in the recently concluded season of the Hero Indian Super League. He had the most tackles for Odisha FC as well. Somebody who won four Emerging Player of the Match awards as well in the entirety of the season. He actually started 17 of the 18 games for Odisha FC. The only one he missed uh, was due to suspension, unfortunately. And that was the only game Odisha lost at uh, uh, was becoming a very famous Kalinga Stadium now. Almost like a you know fortress for them. Right, guys. So without further ado, as I say, namaste and hello and uh, a warm welcome to all of you. I will try and get Shubham Sarangi on to this coverage of uh, Let's Football Live. Let's see if we got Shubham. As always, very versatile player and uh, somebody who I've been uh, really excited to talk to for a while now. Let's see if we've got him now. Hello. Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? How are you? I'm good, Shubham. Thank you so much for taking out time and doing this with us. Uh, where are you right now as we speak? Uh, I'm in Hyderabad right now uh, with my parents and uh, enjoying the lockdown, I would say. <laughs> Is that where your parents live? In Hyderabad? Yeah, 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 in Hyderabad, yeah. Okay, now what's this whole story? Odisha FC keep calling you the local boy, but you've also got a Delhi connection. Tell us a little bit about this before we get cracking about the season of the ISL and all the things that you've achieved in, this, in, your, in your brief career already. So, basically, like my entire childhood, I've been in Delhi. I was born in Vishakhapatnam. Uh, in Andhra Pradesh, but uh, then shifted to Delhi when I was three or four years old. And uh, after that, yeah. my entire childhood until I think 16, 17, I've been in Delhi. And then my father worked uh, in Delhi and then he shifted to Bangalore. And then uh, in 2018, he came to Hyderabad. So that's the story. So basically, my entire childhood had uh, I have spent in Delhi. Somebody just saying local toka mare gold choka. <laughs> you want to reply to that before we get cracking? I mean, they, they love you there, isn't it, in Odisha? <laughs> Definitely. I also, uh, I mean, I feel so lucky. And uh, when when I uh, heard that uh, Delhi Dynamos will be uh, shifting its base to Odisha, I was so happy. And uh, because, yeah, whenever you get a chance to uh, represent your state or nation, it's different uh, feeling altogether. So I was really, very happy. And uh, especially to all the fans, they have been really supportive. And thank you so much. You can also wish them on the on the Rath Yatra today because although yeah, the circumstances, yeah. Shubham, are very different, but uh, it's a very auspicious occasion, isn't it, in Jagannath Puri? Definitely, definitely. I just want to wish everyone a happy Rath Yatra and uh, it is the biggest festival in Odia, Odisha and um, I just want to wish everyone a happy and prosperous Rath Yatra. Yeah, I completely agree with uh, Utpal there who says the future star of Indian football. I think you're already becoming the present in so many ways and I'm sure you're getting used to you know receiving a lot of these compliments. Jagannath Puri. Uh, does the name Jagannaths also come from from Jagannath? Is that is that is that how they've derived their name, the fan club of Odisha FC? Uh, sorry, I couldn't hear you. Uh, I just missed some part. No, I'm saying that uh, the Jagannaths uh, yeah. fan club have they also derived yeah. their name from from Jagannath? Is that is that the natural connection that they have? Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. They just want to. Uh involve everything regarding the state and uh, it has been like Jagannath. Uh, it came from the word Jagannath and uh, definitely uh, it was a very good name and also our slogan, Ama Team, Ama Game. It shows that we bond so well with the state and with their every, every sort of thing like uh, Ama Team, Ama Game means it's our team and our game. So definitely all yeah. the slogans, even the logo and uh, everything is related to the state and we just want to do for, good for the state. It's a fantastic state. I was lucky enough to be there for the for the Super Cup uh, a year ago, and uh, you know, fantastic facilities, and it was absolutely uh, great to just experience the whole Jagannath Puri, uh, and you know, and everything that that comes along with it. So uh, hopefully, you know, the good days will be back soon, and we'll get to you know get to 
you because you're in Hyderabad right now. Uh, but there was a question early on, Shubham, from uh, Sported Down. And uh, I'm not sure if it's a he or a she, but wanted to know, is he willing to share his sports journey with us? I can answer that. Yes, he is. <laughs> Why don't you tell us a little bit about how, how it all started? Yeah, so basically it started uh, when we shifted to uh, Delhi at when I was, I think, yeah. three or four. And then um, I came to Delhi and most of the people and children used to play football or cricket. And that was completely new to me because when I was in Vishagapatnam, I was quite small that time and uh, I never used to see much uh, children or people playing around. And then when I shifted to Delhi, it was like a lot of people and children playing football, doing sports and everything. So, uh, I used to see a lot of children playing football from my balcony. And I always tell this thing. And that when I used to see them and it complete, I felt connected to that game. And uh, I, I was quite yeah. small, but and they never let me used to play. And then I used to play with my mom at home and uh, just try to beat her. But yeah, she always used to give me a good game and and things started like that. Then I continued to play in the school and uh, our school team was a very good school team in Delhi. And uh, I, like I'm, I'm from Army Public School, so it was a very good school and uh, they have a very yeah. good uh, football team. So I was lucky enough to be part of it. And then uh, gradually I was... Uh, in the school team, uh, I played inter house, and then the PT, uh, our football coach, uh, he uh, picked me up for the school team, and then I captained the school team, and then suddenly, like things went well, and then uh, when I was, I think, twelve or uh, eleven or twelve, uh, there was this trial for Delhi State team, and uh, our football coach of the school team, he said to go and give trials, and uh, luckily I got selected over there. And then we went to Kalyani and uh, I, I went, I was just enjoying myself. I never knew that there, there are a lot of scouts and uh, they are uh, selecting a team for the under 13 AFC qualifiers that time. I never knew that. I was just playing, uh, having fun with my mates and just enjoying the game. So after the uh, event, uh, the festival finished, uh, there were 22 players yeah. or 23 players uh, selected for the under 13 AFC qualifiers. And... I was one of them and I, that, that is how my journey started. And we, we went to Goa and then we went to Iran for the under 13 AFC qualifiers. And I never looked back and uh, my entire focus was on football. And then my parents have been really supportive and I just pushed every single day to be uh, improving and uh, to be a better player. Yeah, there was a question from, uh, I think uh, if I've missed it, there was one about uh, from real from the real Rohit Sajeev said something about your childhood and since you mentioned your mother over there and playing football and 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 her, and her challenging you yeah. what was that like well, you know was it was it always her inspiration was she the one motivating you to to take up the sport and be more competitive at it uh like like i said like i used to go down and when i used to ask the elder children like can i play they always used to say to abhi bahut chota hai you cannot play and then I used to cry home and uh, say to my mom that I, they are not letting me play. So my mom used to uh, just uh, pat my back and uh, she used to tell me to play with me. And I used to play with her and she is, is really very competitive. And uh, But yeah, my inspiration, uh, it has to be my grand, grandfather because at his young age, he used to play football. And he always used to tell me about this game and he, he has been really supportive and he helps me till today and uh, no matter whatever situation he is as in uh, he is quite old right now and uh, whenever we are playing at kalinga he definitely uh, comes to see me and support me and i mean he has always been the backbone for me and uh, always inspired me and definitely with that they my grandparent uh, he always used to tell my parents about this thing ki, uh, he is good at football and you should let him play and let him have a career at this and uh, since then my parents have been all really very supportive and i'm just so lucky to have them listen you share a birthday with lionel messi and juan riquel me I, I would be proud of that okay so uh, <laughs> a very happy birthday in advance to you thank you thank uh, you thank to, you so to all much. to all those watching to all those watching and thinking that you know this man it's too small and you cannot play. Well, you already started to prove some of them wrong. So, so well done to you, Shubham. But you mentioned Iran. And I wanted to ask you about that AFC Under-14 Championships, I think it yeah. was, that took you yeah. to uh, Iran. Yeah. Uh, was that the time when you thought, okay, maybe this is the sport that I can now think of taking up professionally? Or was, there, or was it a later stage in your life when you thought, okay, maybe football it is for the rest of my life now? 
basically like when i got selected for the indian team at the age of uh, 12 and we were going to iran and uh, i was lucky enough to be part of it and then when i went to iran we played four matches and i played three out of it and um, i really like uh, when i joined before that my father asked me whether you want to go and uh, uh, like he always used to tell me that whenever you are taking a decision never regret it just go follow your dreams and uh, after that like those words really like till today i always remember those words and uh, he keeps on inspiring yeah. me and uh, i took the decision and i went there i first of all i never thought that my entire career will be on football because at the age of 12 you don't know what exactly i mean you are doing it for fun because you love the game but then i went yeah. i represented the nation and it was completely different feeling i mean whenever you are able to represent your country it's all together a different feeling and i felt so lucky and i gave my all and after that when we came back from iran and i just felt so connected to the game and i just wanted to uh, keep improving and then i uh, uh, like spoke with my dad and my mom and uh, decided that i want to do something good in this field and some uh, just want to do something big for the nation because after all we all are we all are residing in this country and whenever we given the chance we just want to give something back to the country where the country is proud uh, of someone or exiles so that's that's what i have been my motivation and um, after that yeah i decided that yeah i should take this and um, i want to have a career in football i've got a very important request coming in from a gentleman you might know called gorov vora he wants your autograph do you want to do you want to oblige him with one right now or you can do that later maybe <laughs> no i should be the one asking for autograph what a fantastic player gorov vora is as yeah. well and looking forward to you guys doing ever so well for for your for your club and you know obviously for in the future for the country as well hello to kalinga brigade also who've joined us i haven't missed your purple hearts for shubham um so hello to all of you who are who are tuning into this okay shubham now we've spoken about the the early years a little bit now of course the first time when uh, you know the name emerged was when you were heading to the aspire academy uh, as the first delhi player to you know to be heading uh, to the academy what was those four, what, what were those four months like for you and how do you think they changed you from what you were when you left delhi to when you came back four months later uh like it's uh, one of the biggest footballing academies in the world and uh, i think they basically at aspire academy they uh, focus on the basics of football a lot they have a football yeah. not where uh, like after every training session and like every training session we used to go to the football not it's basically a like a chamber where a ball comes from one side and there is a light and we have to pass over there so it like the culture over there the like every single session used to be technical where we work on our uh, basics of football and they really used to focus so much on the basics of football since like they have a very great youth setup i would say and and most of the players who play at aspire academy are playing for their national team as well so the entire culture and the system over there was so encouraging and the coaches was so encouraging to me and they they never thought that yeah i came from india so we should not uh, let him do well they were really behind me and still till today they keep messaging me and uh, they take uh, my updates and stuff like that and when i was at aspire i got all the facilities and uh, the coaches and the coaching the method the methodology uh, over there was completely different and uh, the focus on the basics and with every training session you try to improve yourself and they make sure they push yourself and they just they help us to be better and uh, that football not is a very good thing to improve your every single thing awareness may be it uh, first touch be it long ball so i think uh, everything over there helped me to be a better player and uh, thanks to all the coaches and management over there yeah some some great facilities in 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 qatar as well overall I had a chance to go there just before the club world cup last last year and yeah yeah i mean just looking at yes. how the, how ready that country is already before the 2022 edition you know tells you a thing or two about yeah, yeah. you know what we need to do as a, as a country with the benchmark that uh, that qatar are are setting okay uh, but uh, that's good but you know there were some disappointments along the way as well uh, you know not making it to the final squad in the under 17 world cup shubham yeah. uh, 
how was it for you how did that change you as a person more than a, more yeah. than as a footballer because yeah. it can't be easy that you're a part of the preparation camp yeah, but yeah. not being able to make the final cut yeah i still remember like uh, the day the team was announced uh, i think there were 26 players and 21 got selected and i didn't make the cut and it was really, really very sad for me but uh, i came back to the room i prayed god like this is the story i've never told anyone uh, except my parents but uh, it's i just want to share so i came back sure. to my room and um, i first of all i didn't know what what was happening it was quite shocking for me but i came i prayed god and uh, since that day i told that uh, i think uh, i am going to work hard every single day so that this thing make i feel motivated uh, and like i didn't get to be part of the world cup squad and that made me a better person because i kept pushing after like the next day also i still remember we i came back to delhi and i went to the gym and i went to the football ground because i want to be better so after this, that day when i didn't get selected uh, i made sure that uh, this thing is not going to affect me in any way and i just want to be a better person no like of course i didn't get a chance to play at the world cup but uh, life is not over there uh, it's in my hand to be better and uh, to in the upcoming like uh, what's coming in front of me it's in my hand what i can do so i kept working hard and i never looked back because after all it's everything depends on you how you work hard or how patient you are how how much you are sacrificing to this game so definitely that yeah. thing changed me as my like my personality changed because uh after like missing out on such a big thing which happened in india for the very first time and uh, i missing out on that i felt bad but yeah i kept it aside and thought to myself that i cannot let that hurt me or affect me and i just kept pushing every single day uh, until uh, i signed a contract with uh, delhi dynamos and then uh, i thought to myself that uh, yeah at this age i signed with delhi dynamos now i can see myself doing uh, good things and um, i just keep working hard every single day and proving myself yeah that that's the name of the game isn't it you 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 get up every time you fall in shubham you've shown that a, a couple of times already in your career including in the hero isl when you you know got an opportunity to finally get into the delhi team uh, but i think you had you played nine games you had about five starts yeah. 350 odd minutes is all you got but yes. my good friend abhijit bharali in odisha uh, has uh, reliably informed me that you would constantly go to him and ask him what you're doing wrong how you yeah. can improve as a player and yeah. you know getting into the analytics of the game to understand yeah. how you can improve so what was it like in that in that season when you got the first opportunities and what were your learnings from it so that you could get more consistent opportunities in the season after as you said yeah abhijit virali uh, like he is such a nice guy and he always helps me and i keep texting him after every single match that uh, please i want to come to your room and i just want to see my mistakes and uh, want to learn from them and he's always welcoming and he's like yeah sure you should come over and he tells me uh, a lot of things and i always ask him about uh, what i am doing uh, well and what i am doing wrong because after all you cannot make the same mistakes all the time so basically we discuss about the mistakes i make and he keeps pushing me a lot because he wants good from me and he wants me to do well so he's such a nice guy and yeah so in the first season i didn't get much time and back then i was playing as a midfielder and uh, i played uh, as a defensive midfielder as an attacking midfielder and i remember i played one game against bangalore fc as a striker so that season yeah i learned a lot of thing being that uh, it was my first year professionally and i learned a lot of things and uh, i uh, i was visualizing and seeing a lot of things what i can improve on and uh, players like marco steba he he was such a nice guy he always used to tell me after every training that uh, no matter what no matter even if you don't get chance you you are doing well and you can keep improving what you are, need to improve on so when you have a good en- environment around you uh, you tend to improve so i always used to be happy because there are people who are backing me up and or i always have had my parents who always always help me so much and support me so the entire management was behind me they wanted me to do well and uh, i was always positive about it and then when given the chance in this season uh, in at a new position 
uh, I took the chance because the coach always used to trust me. And uh, even when we were in Delhi Danvers, he always used to tell that you have the potential and uh, I like you as a player and you will do well. You just need to be patient. And I was just being patient and working hard every single day in the training session. And I just waited for the opportunity and when given, and uh, I just took it and never looked back and just focused on uh, the next matches. And as you said, Abhijit Bharati helped me a lot uh, in the analytical part. And I am yeah. very thankful to him. Now, everybody waxes lyrical now. See, uh, there's Abhik as well, who, you know, who's been speaking very highly of you. Uh, you know, the, uh, the owner as well. Uh, you know, he, we've often seen tweets about uh, you know, how well Shubham is doing. And eventually, it translated into performances as well. Shubham, you had 17 uh, starts out of the 18 games. You only missed one because of uh, being a little naughty on the field and picking up a few <laughs> yellow cards and, as a result, getting suspended. I think that's, that's a part that. of the game. But what was it like, the move to right back? Uh, who, who asked you to move to that position? And uh, is that something now that you feel more comfortable in rather than playing as a midfielder like you did in season 2018-19? Uh, like, yeah, I started when I was in Indian team, like uh, in the under under 13, under 14, 15, I, play, I used to play as a striker and then I moved to uh, play as a midfielder in the 18-19 season and now as a right back. So, uh, the thing is like at this age, being able to play in different position, I get a lot of qualities. Like if you are playing as a right back, you need to have different sort of qualities and to the center back or to any other player and when you are playing as a midfielder you need to have some certain qualities so at this age if i'm able to play at different position i'm gaining a lot of things from uh, uh, playing at different positions and i'm just keeping it in my bag and trying to be more experienced and uh, it was my coach uh, in the 18 19 season he used to tell me like towards the ending of the season he used to tell me that i think you will be a very good fullback so I said, uh, coach, like you have to guide me, and uh, he 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 told me that yeah, definitely in the coming season, uh, you you will do well at the fullback position. And when we went to preseason in Spain before the season started, uh, I played most of the matches in Spain and then in Doha. And with every single match, I was trying to learn the new things and the things I need to learn as a fullback. And then the season started, and with every experience with the coach backing me, the management helping me, every single person helping me to be uh, better at fullback because it was a new position for me. And those things helped me because when, as I said earlier also, the environment is really positive at Orissa. And uh, they, are the, the, they are the most sweet people over there. And they just want to see their club, see the team, see the player do well. And what else to say? And the people around there are so good. And uh, basically, yeah. I just want to say huge thanks to uh, Coach Joseph Gamba, uh, who helped me transform from a midfielder to fullback so well. And uh, also to our boss, to every single one who have helped me uh, in this journey. So I just want to thank every single yeah. person. Yeah, you have to absolutely credit the Odisha management as well. I mean, look, even looking at some of the some of the new signings, I was looking at. You know, the likes of Toiba, who's I think the youngest player to ever score yeah, yeah. in an AFC Cup. And then yes, even yes. like say, Premji, then Bodo, I think, who's only 20. Yeah. There's Saurabh Meher, who's 20. Henry Anthony, who's 20. Yeah. So, you know, it's like a good crop of youngsters. Gaurav Bora has uh, said hello to you. He's not very old. Um, <laughs> so, you know, there, there's, a, there's a great crop of youngsters that are coming through. And it's so good to see uh, ISL being used as a launch pad for some of, uh, for some of you guys uh, who are still at the early part of their careers. Uh, but yeah, I, I've got I've got a few questions I've got to take. So I, I played this round called the One Touch Let's Football round, where uh, okay. where I'm going to where I give you some short sharp clues. But okay. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to I'm going to ask some fan questions first of all. So uh, yeah. so so let's so let's see if you can answer some of them. So there was a question okay. from Mister Mister Half Note who said, "What is your mindset before playing a match? To play well till ninety minutes, or to give you a hundred percent every match?" To do well in uh, in over the 90 minutes because uh, you need to focus in the game you are going to play. You cannot think about the next game which is going to come. First, I prepare yeah. myself according to the teammates. Like when if we are playing against ATK, like you said earlier, I go to Abhijit and uh, I see a lot of videos. Also in the 
meetings we uh, see their uh, plays and everything like that but i give a lot of time in seeing the opponents and uh, before every single match i try to see my mistakes over the previous match and try not to make those same mistakes and then i see the opponents how they play what they are doing very good and what they are lacking in or what i can do as a player to help my teammates to score or what these are the things i prepare and my first focus is in the game which is go- i am going to play in so i i don't think about the next game which i am going to play but yeah definitely when i am focused about the game i am going to play in i give my 100% because that is what uh, after all uh, is the most important thing and every single time yeah. i step onto the pitch i just give my 100% because you cannot give your 90% and play even if i am little bit injured i i i just don't think about the injury i just think that i am going to give my best for the team so that our team wins so that is what my mind is shubham and wish you all the best going forward with that as well zuriel riberio i had a question which is your best assist in the isl has got to be to onmu right that's yeah. that's the one yeah, even definitely. though it gave a losing call yeah yeah definitely it was assist but yeah i'm looking forward to more and yeah it was a good cross and a good uh, goal from onwu yeah definitely we were on the lo- losing side but nevertheless i was happy do you watch do you watch a lot of videos there have been some famous right backs along the way lilian thuram kapu carlos uh, carlos uh, alberto torres who's your favorite right back of all time if i can ask you that all time it has to be uh, danny alves because i really like the way he plays and how skillful he that position so and he is really confident as he plays i mean look at his touches the brazilian flair over whenever he is playing so i think th- when you are confident you play really well so i think uh, i take the yeah. confidence from him and i also like uh, trent arnold the upcoming player from um, liverpool and he is doing wonders and i just really look up to these two guys at the moment Yeah, I, I remember watching Rohan's uh, interview uh, not so long ago, and he mentioned uh, how excited he would be if Sunday Jingan were to sign. So that's my next question to you. Nam, Nam, hey, Anubhav wanted to know what will be your reaction if, by any chance, Jingan joins you in defence. Definitely, it, uh, it is a dream to uh, play alongside Jingan Bai, and of course, he can help me to be a better player. And definitely, we want him to uh, come to Orissa, and it will be a big thing for us. And uh, I think uh, anything can happen in football and finger crossed so let's hope <laughs> for the best and uh, of course he's a great player Jingan Bai and of course whenever he comes to a team uh, he will make the t- entire team uh, he will support the team from the back and he'll help the young players to improve and he'll share his experience so of course it is going to be a win-win situation for everyone so finger crossed let's hope for the best Yeah, he he made his name as a as a fullback in the first ever season of uh, yes. Hero ISL 2014, and won the emerging player that year as well. Uh, there, there's been a history of some good fullbacks. Prabhu Das had a great season. Yeah. Pritham Kotal has also played for the national team for so long now. Rahul Pekey scored the famous winner in the 2018-19 season as yes. a right back. Your your favorite Indian right back, if I can ask you? Uh, as you said, like first, I always used to see Jingan Bai. because um, he has a different mentality and mindset whenever he's playing it we can see the passion in him and i really respect about that thing about him because uh, you need passion when you are playing because this is a game full of enthusiasm and passion and when you see someone like i, I to be very honest i compare jingan bai with ramos because i i can uh, relate those two guys because they have that passion and whenever they are playing for the country or for their club they they the way they play it shows that uh, they want to give their all and that is the biggest thing i like about him and definitely uh, yeah. prabhi das last season had a really really very good season and i really look up to him because of course he is a very good player and the way he, he was uh, assisting a lot of goals i think five assists he gave and that was really remarkable and i also look forward to it because i also want to get a lot of assists in the coming season ah there you are there you go there's the dream already uh but speaking of dreams there was a question from the fian dinesh 46 who says who is your dream manager and team dream manager Overall. um team has to be manchester united and dream manager yeah sir alex ferguson 
All right. Okay. Yeah. Do, you don't want to upset Stuart Baxter just yet. So that's that's a safe choice. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, Sp- Sp- Spur Sparkash. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Sparkash zero zero two six had a question. What are the major changes that you see in yourself uh, from the last two years to now? That's a pretty good question. Yeah, really a good question. I mean, uh, changes are like. Uh... before the two like uh, before two years i was not playing professionally uh, i was in the under 17 and then i got selected for the i signed with delhi dynamos and then the last two years yeah. uh, i've been playing professionally so uh, like i uh, it's a very good tricky question and i don't know how to answer this properly but yeah uh, when yeah. you are in a big stage like uh, in the isl there are a lot of lot of people who want to know you so we have to uh, like uh, uh keep or maintain something like uh, we cannot uh, come socially and tell everything to everyone like you have your friends yeah. you have your family and uh, like you have to be a little uh, not that i mean you cannot share everything with uh, everyone and uh, it has to be your close one whom you can share with and i feel uh, a lot of people uh, messages and uh, social media but yeah i i try to maintain that well because um, after all we are footballers and we want to focus more on football so i think these were the changes and i just my focus is on football and uh, nothing has uh, like changed for me but i am really happy because i'm playing football excellent okay next question uh, from uh, ashik and he says not not ashik kurunian don't worry this is uh, ashik k <laughs> underscore who, uh, who asks your best indian midfielder in isl Indian midfielder. Uh, it ha- this yeah, we have a problem of I, plenty. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, I will go for three. Um, this season it has to be uh, Thapa by Rolvin Borges and uh, Vinith by also because he has done a lot good of good things for our club. And I think these three uh, have played really well this season. And uh, I think uh, the amount of assists Thapa by gave this season is remarkable. And uh, even yeah. rolwin borges has played really well and uh, like he has got so many good compliments from big players like eric patalu and uh, players like those and even i still remember like uh, coach elko he, who was comparing uh, rolwin borges with uh, kevin de bruyne and i feel yeah he i mean he played really well this season and um, uh, hats off to all three of them because i feel these three uh, did really well this season Yeah, you might you might get a text from Vinith Rai as well very shortly. <laughs> by the way, I, I, I just saw I somebody so. mentioning him. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Uh, then there was another one, and I mean, every time you say Thapa Bhai, just you know, I, I look back and I think Thapa is a guy, and he's still so early in his career, which just reminds us yeah. that you're only 19 until tonight when you'll turn 20 tomorrow morning. So yeah. that, that, that tells you a thing or two about how how youngsters are coming to the fore in Indian football. there was a question from okay let me take a key question that came from aryan pandit and he asks if you were a girl and you had to marry any indian bachelor footballer then who would it be <laughs> uh, um, i don't know there's like a style icon I, amongst yeah. indian footballers you follow or <laughs> uh, i think uh, like I, i praised he praised i i, I praised a lot of lot of things about uh, jingan my i think uh, it has to be sandeep jingan because i really uh, idolize yeah. him and i really uh, like i see a lot of good things in him and i uh, in indian players sunil chetri bhai and uh, jingan bhai like stands for me because uh, as i said about the passion whenever i see them play it gives me goosebumps and whenever given the chance i i also want to show that passion and uh the amount of football i can play so i think yeah sandeep jing is why do i have a feeling gorav bora has made a dummy account and he's asking you all these questions that are difficult to answer but anyway he's getting a lot of mention on your live by the way so maybe you need to have a word with him okay hey, yeah, radhika krishna does. kumar sorry <laughs> he does yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah no i was coming to the i was coming to the next question from radhika krishna kumar and uh, she asks your favorite moment in odisha fc so far uh i think it has to be the game 
against Mumbai City at Kalinga because after that game we uh, came into the fourth position and I think that was a big win, big win for us. So two zero win yeah. when we uh, won against Mumbai City and also the first win against Mumbai City. That was the club's first win and um, like we won against at their home four two. So those two matches are really yeah. memorable for me. Yeah, what what a cracking game that was! But yeah, two nil also because the clean sheet always matters to you defenders, doesn't it? Yes. So uh, yes. take it with both hands anytime. Swapnil <laughs> yeah, actually definitely. asked a question as we speak. There's a there's a question from Swapnil Kopikar eight, and he says your toughest player you faced in the ISL. Uh, I think it has to be uh, Diogo Carlos because uh, he's really skillful and uh, he can play like his both legs are really uh, great. I mean he can. Cross from his left, he can shoot from his right. Like he's really good player, and I think uh, this season uh, when we are playing uh, at home at Kalinga, uh, I mean at at Mumbai Stadium, I mean uh, when we are playing the first win, uh, that yeah. game uh, he gave me a lot. Like he, I had to run a lot to chase him, and I feel yeah, Diogo Carlos was a player uh, I admire because he is really skillful. Nipun Rai uh, joined the conversation and he wanted you to choose between Chetri and Jingan. I wouldn't put you through the through the sword like that, but I will ask a question. <laughs> I will ask a question from Nawaz Nawaz Imran zero one six who says uh, one word about Sunil Chetri. You can give a sentence if you want. There's so much to talk about. Sen- yeah, definitely. The words I cannot describe him because he has done so much for the country, and a single word cannot uh, describe his uh, journey. So I would say legend, of course. Legend is the one which suits him good, and he is the one. He is the one who has done so much for the country, and hats off to him. So I think legend is the one word I would use for him. Fair enough. And Siddharth Goa agrees with you. Hi, Siddharth. Legend he is indeed. Uh, Pushkaresh Bhatt had a question. Your favorite teammate. All the best, losing friends. <laughs> I think it has to be Gaurav Bura because uh, he's my roommate. And um, in most of the away games, I am with him, and uh, we spend a lot of time together. So it has to be Gaurav Bora, and he makes me happy all the time. He's a fun, fun guy to play around. So yeah, it has to be Gaurav Bora. There's an interesting question that's come in from uh, Imtiaz Haq, who wants to know any plans of playing abroad. I know you signed a three-year extension, so that's a bad question to ask you. <laughs> But which club and country would you choose if you had the option, Shubham? First of all, uh, if given the chance, I would play in a country. No, like no matter whichever country I'm playing in, I want to play where I will get the opportunity to develop as a player. Be it Europe, be it Asian League, or whatever it is, whatever comes in the future, I just want to go there where I am given the chance where I can develop as a player. So. Of course, like I, I see there are a lot of good Asian leagues also, and of course Europe is the hub of football. So I think uh, yeah. even if I get a chance in Asia in big leagues, I would take it with both hands. But yeah, now my focus is on Odisha FC, and uh, I just want to give my best for my state, for my club. So I just love love Odisha FC. That'll be music to the ears of Rohan and and everybody else watching this, I'm sure, because that's that's why you signed three years with them. But uh, speaking of speaking of music, uh, there was a question from Chetan zero seven zero three. Which song do you listen to before a match? Basically, I don't have any single song, but uh, I listen to EDM, like uh, electronic dance sort of, because uh, it pumps yeah. me and gives me goosebumps and uh, like gives me that. Thrill and uh, like keeps me going. So I think EDM are the songs. I don't have any single song, but yeah, I listen to a lot of EDM songs. All right, fair enough. We're very similar in that in that regard, and I think uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe we need to exchange our playlists as well, just to De- see definitely, how definitely. it goes. Of course, you have the tougher job. I just have to talk <laughs> about you during a game. That's all. <laughs> uh, okay, there, there was another question from Rock Babool. Who says? Uh, who asks? Do you, do you like the young Indian defense of OFC? And do you think we knew we need any foreign defenders this season? What 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 has your relationship been like with the foreigners? Actually, if I can add to that question, and who have you learned from the most? Uh, the foreigners in our club were really great. I mean, uh, they 
the experience Marcos Tebar has, Ari Dane, yeah. On Wu, Cisco, every single one was really, really very supportive, I must say. Because uh, in the dressing room, they were the ones who used to encourage every single uh, single player. Because uh, I think we were the youngest yeah. squad in the ISL. And uh, when we have a young team, you, need, you rely on uh, experienced players because they are the ones who keeps you motivated. They are the one who backs you. Uh, even if you make mistake yeah. in the game or in the training session, they are the one who comes to you and uh, they tell you, yeah, you are making this mistake. You can improve on this. So our team, our bonding was really, really good. And thanks to all the foreign players because they were really nice to us. And we really bond very well. And I, I like special thanks to Marcos Seba because he is the one who always... Uh, helps me to improve myself because in every game if i make a terrible mistake he in next day or the before sleeping he i'll be seeing one message popping on on whatsapp that uh, marcos has sent me about the clip or the photo what i'm doing wrong and he he will write something so i think yeah the, these things you need to take it positively and he has helped me to grow so much and Thanks to him and also the entire foreign players I was playing along because they they were really nice to me and they used to bring the best out, out of me. So, thanks to every single yeah. uh, foreign player. And about the young Indian defence, what, what do you make of some of the new signings and the young Indian defence of Odisha? As Rock Babool I think, name, has asked. <laughs> I think, yeah, we... Uh, every uh, defence or backline needs one experienced player or two who can guide the entire backline or who can communicate from the back because uh, communication plays a very important role because they are uh, like either the goalkeeper or the backline, they are the ones who can see the entire field and they can guide the midfielder, the striker. So I think in the backline, you need to have one experienced player who can uh, like who can guide or communicate the entire team. And I feel, yeah, the bond of experience and young players will have a good match and I think we can do something well in this season. Fantastic. You've done ever so well in, in this round where fans have asked you some questions, some difficult ones as well. And uh, you managed to answer that. Okay, time for some uh, one-touch let's football. So, I give you some short, sharp clues, Shubham. And okay. you have to guess the player I'm talking about. And obviously, sure. I will not ask you a player you will not know. So, <laughs> okay. here goes the first clue. First clue for the first player. Yeah. I picked up five emerging player of the match awards in the 2019-20 season. The most by any Odisha FC player. Jerry. Jerry it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you would know this. I mean, given that you, yeah. you check all the stats and analytics anyway. <laughs> well, what was it like playing alongside Jerry? It was really great because, um, I mean, we had that understanding and... Uh, before every match, we used to uh, talk to each other and he always used to tell me, I want this type of uh, passes and I used to tell that I need this type of setting from you so that I can cross well. So, we had that understanding and uh, thanks to him because he always used to give me short tips before the match, how the opponents plays. So, I think, yeah, it was yeah. really great and I'm looking forward to the uh, coming season to play along with him. I'm sure so is he. All right, next one. Uh, this, this should be easy for you as well. How do I make it difficult? So, you know your numbers and your stats anyway. Okay. I, I have the best passing accuracy for any under-23 Indian player in the Hero ISL history. That's 80.4%. In the history. Okay. In ISL history, I have the yeah. best passing accuracy for any under-23 Indian player. Anybody wants to have a guess and help Shubham? I, I, think, so. I think I am confused between two. Uh, either it is it will be Anirudh Thapa or Vinith Rai, I think. I think I'll go for Anirudh Thapa. See, I told you you'll get a text from Vinith Rai and he'll not be happy with you. And oh. once again, you're going to get a text from him because it is Vinith Rai. But, but, oh, but okay. that, it was a tough one. Yeah. And Anirudh Thapa is a, is a difficult one to beat as well. So, Imtiaz Haq, you got it wrong. But the hippie guy has got it right along with Abhinash Jahu. So, well done to you guys. Uh, but Vinith Rai... Uh, what have you made of him? Because he's come up leaps and bounds as well. The only Odisha player who's been called up by uh, Igor Stimats and you know played for the national team as a result. Yeah, definitely. He's uh, as I said when I was picking three midfielders. Yeah, he he stands out for me and uh, he makes the game look easy. And he's always like 
he has a very good accuracy and after every training session he hit those long balls and after every yeah. training session me and vinit bhai or there are four five players who, like he gives me diagonal ball and i will cross so yeah he always works on his uh, big like the good things he like the long ball the diagonals and he always want he has that attitude to improve the things he he can improve on and after every training single after every training session he uh, stays at the ground and he gets the passing the long balls the shooting he and uh, like he said uh, earlier i was seeing his live video uh, the goal he scored against chennai and i still remember he oh. was practicing so much before uh, that game he was doing a lot of shoots and long balls and i still remember and i was really happy for him when he scored that goal against chennai and uh, yeah, yeah he's he's the guy who wants to keep working and after every training session he wants to do or hit those li- uh, diagonal balls and improve what he can improve on so hats off to him super fit guy as well he's been giving us goals during this lockdown uh, so yeah, yeah, i can't yeah. take that away from him uh Yeah, see, that's the problem. Uh, and because you know, it's very difficult to to follow that act as well when you keep seeing that. Okay, the next the next clue for the next player. Uh, no player won more Hero of the Match awards than me in the Hero ISL 2019-20. I think. I- Yeah, I think I think I think I've asked this question before, but well done. That's a, that's a great guess because I think Farooq won yeah. four and David Williams won four as well, but so yeah. did Aridane Santana. Uh, the best striker yeah. in the league for you, having played alongside him, or would you say Ogbeche or Koro? Uh, I think we have some really great players in the league, and uh, every team like there are clubs who have really great striker. But since I have played with uh, Aridane and Ongu, they both are really good. Yeah. they have different attributes but they really are good at their qualities which they have and thanks to all the contribution they have done for orissa fc and they both are really great strikers and i look forward to play alongside them again and i think yeah, i just, should just... say i think i should say this to mr rohan sharma our boss that <laughs> i think we need to bring them back <laughs> All right, that that that's the first time I've seen a request to an owner through Let's Football Live. So you know, that that's good. You know, maybe maybe a nice little birthday gift for you in advance as well. You know. Okay, one more clue, one more clue for one more player. Since this is going yeah. uh, so well, uh, I scored. Uh, no, that's an easy one. Okay. I know Disha FC. No, that's also an easy one. Let me let me toughen the clue a little bit for you because you're yeah yeah sure uh, because it's been easy for for all the others. I was the only player to score two goals from direct free kicks in a single game this season. Of course, Onwu. <laughs> Very simple. Okay. Still was easy. <laughs> I tried to make yeah, it difficult, yeah. but it, it wasn't. <laughs> What an impact yeah. Onwu had! Did you have any chat with him? Uh, you know, it was. And did he did he speak to you about certain aspects of the game, Manuel Onwu? Yeah, yeah, definitely. He had a great impact. I mean, uh, scoring seven goals in four games—it's a very big thing. And he came into the team as if he—he he has been a long, long uh, servant for the club because the way he came, yeah. he picked him up and scored seven goals. It was really remarkable. And uh, thanks to him, because he's such a sweet guy. I mean, uh, he wants every every match. He comes to us, the wingers. he just says that you just keep giving me good crosses i will score so he is really great and i the way he came and uh, scored seven goals it's remarkable and yeah definitely i keep messaging him and i uh, speak to him even in the lockdown so uh, it was really great uh, to see him come and score those seven goals Yeah, absolutely outstanding ability there, and uh, what, what, I mean, completely different player to how we saw him at Bengaluru, and then found him at uh, Odisha. Yeah. Great story indeed. Uh, okay, time for a rapid fire. Let Let's do okay. this. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's Let's see if uh, if I ask you some difficult questions myself, okay. and okay. not Gaurav Bora <laughs> asking you that. Let's see how you can answer. Right, Delhi or Delhi or Bhubaneswar. It has to be Bhubaneswar because yeah, I am from Odisha, so Bhubaneswar. on the day of rath yatra i won't ask you to say anything else well done so <laughs> bhubneshwar it is uh, jerry or nanda 
<laughs> it has to be jerry because i play on the same wing i also nanda is uh, is a very fun guy to be around and uh, and he's also a really great guy i just want to say this because he doesn't feel bad uh, but yeah nanda is really great <laughs> he plays really well and uh, he's really yeah. a fun fun guy to be around he always teases you and we always have fun with him so he's really a great guy but yeah jerry because he plays on the same wing Okay, Jerry, it is Aidane or Manuel Onwu. This is the question I uh, uh, I have been asked so many times, and I think I have to face it all the time. I think both are really great, and as I said yeah. earlier, they have different abilities, and they are really perfect at it. And I think both are really great. The contribution they have made is really remarkable. So I think uh, we need to I need to pass it on because I cannot answer uh, this question. I'll tell you. I'll give you a hint. Okay, next time yeah. somebody asks you a difficult question, just say Rohan yeah. Sharma or or answer with Stuart Baxter if if you can't answer it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'll Good. do that. Noted. <laughs> uh, only joking, man. Okay, uh, Miguel Angel Portugal or Joseph Gombau? It has to be Joseph Gombau because um, under him I was able to play. Uh, like I got my debut, and um, last season yeah. I I played seventeen games out of eighteen. So it has to be Joseph Gombau, but also. Miguel Angel Portugal he was the one who brought me into the team and thanks to him Okay again you haven't answered it uh, the way I thought you would but no, I, I, I I'll say I'll say you but that But yeah it has to be Jose Gamba if I have to pick one name it has to be Jose Fair Gamba. enough Yeah Let's see how you answer this Nikolay Adam or uh, Luis Norton de Matos oh My god <laughs> I I think it's Stuart Baxter <laughs> <laughs> as you said uh, <laughs> you're learning quickly my friend <laughs> yeah okay. i mean both, I right, mean, both the coaches were really great uh, but yeah i yeah. mean both the coaches have different philosophy and uh, they were really good at it so i think stuart baxter stuart baxter is okay <laughs> yeah uh, i i did hear a quote about him uh, about him i think saying that he's not going to look to overhaul the style of play too much for uh, odisha fc Is that how you'd like it as well? Were you happy with what you saw of Odisha, and you'd like to continue in the same style? Yeah, definitely. Like uh, when uh, you have a team who who have been playing the same way, and when the new coach comes and we are same way, then it comes naturally to the players that uh, we have been following the same type of a philosophy where we keep the ball, we attack through the wings, and all sort of things. So I think when the philosophy is quite similar, it is easier for the team to understand. the new coach and then uh, excel at it so i think yes okay goal or an assist uh, of course uh, i would like to score goals but uh, i think assist will be more um, uh, more uh, i i mean i can do more assist rather than scoring goals and but yeah definitely i would love to score goals but it has to be assist yeah. so then playing as a striker or playing as a midfielder I mean, you're playing as a right back already. So if you yeah. were to, if you had the choice, what do you want to do? I think midfielder, midfielder, midfielder. I really like playing as a midfielder also. Okay. Uh, development with the Aspire Academy or with the Under 17 World Cup, uh, the the preparation squad that you were a part of. What was better for you? I think uh, when I was uh, with the Under 17 squad, because uh, we went to a lot of countries and we played so many games and. Uh, at that age when you get that exposure you improve a lot and i think uh, being able to play so many games against big countries and big clubs i mean, i think that was a really good experience but yeah, yeah also aspire gave me a lot but i think yeah when i was with the uh, under 17 squad yeah, the experience was altogether different so i think i have to pick that one okay fair enough uh now i you know i started this session with saying that you 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 clocked the most number of minutes in season 2019 20 as a teenager uh i almost 4 hours more than sumit rati who won uh, the emerging player uh, award eventually but if i were to pick if i were to ask you to pick between a better prospect sumit rati or laling moya who would you pick uh, i think uh, since sumit got the award i think i i'll stick with that <laughs> because uh, he was the one who won the league with atk so I, i would say it has to be sumit but uh, moya also yeah. he played really well so i think 
yeah so i'm being a, a bit diplomatic but yeah i i'll pick <laughs> sumit rati but yeah since moya is my friend i don't want him to feel bad but so picking sumit rati with apologies to uh, moya listen i have no problem with you finding it difficult to pick, pick between shubham and sarangi as long as you keep playing football the way you've been you've been playing shubham it's been uh, fantastic having you before i let you go a message to juggernauts message to kalinga uh, the kalinga brigade message to odisha fc fans on you know this auspicious occasion of rath yatra today as well uh first of all i just want to thank them for the entire things they have done for the club and still they are doing and we are blessed yeah. and uh, we have such a great fans who are really sticking and doing their part to so that whenever we are on the stage uh, in the stadium we are playing they are in huge number and they are backing us supporting us so it's a very big thing for us and uh, i'm so happy and privileged to be able to play at odisha and thanks to jagannath kalinga brigade utkal everyone because they they made us feel in love with kalinga the first match which we played against jamshedpur and we won 2-1 and since then like i i i'm completely in love with kalinga stadium and with all the fans and uh, since this is a very auspicious day uh, rath yatra happy rath yatra to every single uh, odia people and uh, across the india and um, this is really a very big festival as i said earlier and I just wish everyone be happy and stay fit and also follow the guidelines given by the government right now and just be uh, safe. Thank you so much Shubham for being a part of this a very happy birthday to you uh, in advance have a have a Thank cracking you. day and welcome to the welcome to the 20s uh, <laughs> in advance already so <laughs> no no longer you. those statistics of teenagers uh, you know with you anymore so that's all in the past <laughs> <laughs> wish you all the very best wish you good health and great fortune uh, going forward thanks to odisha fc as well for making this possible and i hope to see you soon back in action back where you belong on the pitch yeah thank you so much thank you. it was really great to be with you thank you cheers shubham see you yeah thank you bye bye All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Juggernauts from Pune, Bengaluru. I've, I've been trying to see as many messages as possible, trying to take as many questions as possible as well. Kalinga Brigade, thank you for joining us. I saw a lot of uh, slogans about "Ama Team, Ama Game." Uh, it's been it's been fantastic to get to know uh, Shubham Sarangi a little bit better than we knew him uh, an hour ago. So uh, that's great. It's his birthday tomorrow. Uh, so if you want to wish him, you can you can do that as well. Uh, to everybody who joined us, uh, thank you very much. and uh, keep firing away with all your questions and your suggestions and your feedback and hope to see you with a brand new edition of let's football live very very soon hopefully in a couple of days we'll have a big indian player joining us i won't give it away just yet you have to wait for it thank you so much take care stay safe bye bye